This is a Star News Brief. I'm Samuel Otieno. Wipa leader Kalonzo Musyoka has convened the party's supreme decision-making arm, the National Delegates Convention, on Thursday to receive its blessing to run for president. This will be the clearest signal yet the former vice president is determined to pull out all the stops to position himself as a formidable force in President Uhuru Kenyatta's succession. Kalonzo, who is planning his second stab by the presidency since his 2007 debut, plans to assemble more than 6,000 party delegates from across the country at the expansive Kasarani Gym in a show of might. Get a copy of the star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings through www.mgazetti.com. Kenyans seeking in-person government services will now be required to show proof of full vaccination beginning December 21st. The services will include KRA services, education, immigration, hospital and prison visitations, NTSA and port services. The measures were announced by the health ministry to boost uptake of COVID-19 vaccines in the country. The ministry on Sunday announced that Kenyans will also be required to provide proof of full vaccination when seeking transport services, including domestic flights, the SDR and when boarding maternity and buses. Patrick Odiambo, the father of convicted terrorist Joseph Juma Odiambo, wants the government to give his son a merciless sentence for attempting to escape from Kamiti Maximum Security Prison. He believes that for his terror links and his escape from jail, 30-year-old Juma, also known as Yusuf, should be behind bars for a long time. And when he's finally freed, he'll be shown my gravesite, his father told the star. That is if Juma does not return in a coffin himself. Nina, same, uh... Kenya lifanya serikali mhukumu imuongezee hiyo miaka kwa hii, kwa ile miaka Kenya alikuwa amefunga atapata kama mimi nimekufa anaonyeshwa kiburi kaburi the IEBC chairman of Fula Chabukati has opened a plethora of battlegrounds with stakeholders in the 2022 general election. The commission's latest swipe targets politicians in premature political campaigns. Following a memo to Chief Justice Martha Koome, the IEBC is also at loggerheads with President Uhuru Kenyatta's administration for hiring an agent at the Foreign Affairs Ministry to monitor funds from foreign donors. The commission is further embroiled in a tussle with political parties, whose liaison team on Friday accused Chabukati of being a stumbling block to peaceful polls. What she thought was extreme blood loss due to menstruation turned out to be blood cancer, leukemia. Cancer was the last thing on her mind when her health started deteriorating. The regular headaches were just that, headaches. For several weeks, Petronila Naisiae, now 17, had been plagued with recurring headaches, tiredness and general ill feeling. She had visited the school sanatorium at the time she was in Form 1 and been administered painkillers and antibiotics in three instances. But the headache in particular just did not go away. Then came vomiting and no it was so bad she passed out one afternoon. Get a copy of the star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings through www.mgazetti.com.